All right, guys, so I got something special for you today. No Hemi in sight, no Hellcat, no Scat Pack, no Charger Challenger in sight. But I got something that might be just as good, if not better, some would say. Shelby GT500, 760 horsepower, GT500. Takes off on Arkansas State Police. And when I say takes off, I mean just that. Your boy takes off. And then he blacks out and disappears into the night. This is the second time that he's ran from ASP, and they have yet to catch him. Some might call him the undefeated Shelby GT500. Either way, let's get into it. What's up, guys? It's your boy Knockout360 here with another video, man. So you can tell I'm in a house that makes it a house vlog. You know, I was going down and come around. Let's get into it. Car content, car shows, car reviews, car meets, anything and everything car related happens on this channel. So if you're into that, make sure that you stick around for everyone else. Hit that subscribe button as well as that notification bell so that you know what's coming out and when it's coming out, right? So, uh, yeah, Shelby GT500. I did not say Ford. I did not say Mustang. They take that very personal. That's like calling somebody with a, a scat pack engine. And SRT, like you, you can't, that's disrespectful to some SRT owners. They take it seriously like that. Shelby GT500 takes off on Arkansas State Police. And this is not the first time that he's done it. And when you listen to what the Arkansas State Police officers were saying, it's funny. It's funny. First and foremost, shout out to my man LRHN, Little Rock Hood News. Go to his uh, channel, check him out, show him some love, like, subscribe, comment. Let's go ahead and get into it. That's his plate. They looking for him. They light him up. They hit him with the light. He's just fucking with us. All right, he's slowing down. Goodbye. Lights go off. It's over. They turn their lights off. He took off on his turn, his lights off. They didn't even bother. Let's go back to that. That chase was only not even a minute long. Let's go back to it. So they've already been looking for you, boy, once before because he took off on them once before. They got him, hit him with the light. I've never seen them do that where they uh, not only light him up, but they hit him with the spotlight. And he says, oh, he's just fucking with us because all he's doing is downshift. Well, not downshifting, but just playing on the gas. And then he takes off, blacked out everything, everything perfect. Power, knows where he's going, knows how to drive, got plenty of gas, I assume. And he was gone. The chase was over in a minute. Get up on Hoonigan. Hoonigan, yeah, that's him. That's his plate. Hoonigan, yep. Hit him with the lights. Goodbye. Goodbye. Lights off. Chase over. He said we he turned off his lights. We are not going to pursue. I'm going to be honest with you. That right there, it just makes sense. Like that that's one of the smartest things that that trooper could have done is turn his lights off and end the chase straight up and down because you're not catching this guy. He's already ran on you once before. And apparently from the from the sound of it, it sounds like, you know, that was the same Mustang that ran on those specific troopers in the past. So it's one of those things like you already know what this car can do. Shelby Mustang or Shelby GT500. I'm sorry. 760 horsepower. What's that coming out of? 5.7? Is it a, um, let me see, Shelby GT 500. Okay, you can call it a Ford. Just don't call it a Mustang. 5.2 liter V8 engine, 760 horsepower, 7-speed automatic. You're not catching that. 
I mean, let's be honest here. Even a stock Hellcat is not catching that. A Red Eye would put up a good fight, but it would be tough because the Red Eye is so much heavier than a Mustang. Very few cars are catching a Ford... I'm, here we go again. I'm sorry. A Shelby GT500. Very few cars are catching a Shelby GT500. And certainly not no damn Police 5.7 Charger. So they did exactly what they were supposed to do. They cut the lights off. They called it into the radio, to, down to the, uh, the department and said, listen, we're fucked. He's gone. We're turning the lights off. We are not continuing the, the chase. But they have your boy in the system, so eventually they're going to get him. You know what I mean? It's just a matter of when, but they're not going to catch him when he's actually on the road. Because clearly your boy's not stopping for shit right there. But they did the smart thing. Because how many times have we seen in chases where you know that you're not going to catch this car, but they will continue to chase this car for another 5-10 minutes, and they're seeing nothing but pitch black night, you know, darkness. And it's like you're putting everybody in danger. You're putting yourself in danger, number one. Yourself and your passenger, you know, your teammate or whatever, uh, your partner. Then you're putting the pedestrians in danger. And you're also putting the guy that's running from you in danger. You're putting the, you know, the assailant in danger. Because he's being chased, so he's going to constantly keep running. In this case, they did exactly what they were supposed to do. So many of you guys in the comments are like, they're just chasing ghosts, putting everybody in danger. Just call it off. I've never seen them call it off that quickly. I've never seen ASP or even any any state, you know, troop or department or whatever call off a chase that quickly, especially when they've initiated it. Because to my understanding, like once you initiate the chase, particularly from somebody that's ran from you once before, once you initiate that chase, like you have to make every effort and attempt to try to apprehend the person that you're chasing. You can't just light them up and realize it's a Hellcat or a Scat Pack or a Shelby GT500 and it's like, all right, I'm not even going to bother because they could crash out or they could decide, you know what? I don't want to run from the law today. I'm just going to pull over, right? I made a mistake. I thought about running. I apologize, but I'm going to pull over, which actually happens. We've seen that happen numerous times when somebody would take off and then halfway through the chase, they realize, you know what? It ain't even worth it and just pull over and take the L. So he could have done that. He didn't do that, but he could have done that. So, you know what I'm saying? Most police departments will give you some sort of chase. They're not just going to turn their lights off. Unless it's like a city cop, because I think in Charlotte, I'm in Charlotte, North Carolina, if you don't know that. Um, in Charlotte, if you run from city cops, I think they'll give you a little bit of a chase up until a certain speed, and then they're just going to call it off. And if you get on the highway at that point, I believe, I could be mistaken, but if they really want you, they're going to hand that off to uh, Highway Patrol, and then from there, you're North Carolina Highway Patrol's problem. But uh, city cops aren't going to fuck with you too much. After a certain speed, they're probably going to call it off ASAP because they're as a city cop, you're in the city, heavily populated, heavily dense area. You're more likely to hurt yourself, hurt a pedestrian, whatever the case may be, innocent bystanders. So they're going to call it off. But highway patrol, normally once they light you up, they're going to give you a chase. And it doesn't matter what the hell you drive, you're driving. I've seen highway patrol chasing Lamborghinis like they're going to go after you. And then once they realize that they can't catch you and it's unsafe, then they'll call it off. But rarely do they call the shit off within the first 25 seconds of lighting you up. But that's exactly what happened here. But, you know, my hat goes off to the troopers because you're not catching this guy. He did the right thing. Everybody did the right thing, if you ask me. Because uh, if that Shelby had pulled over, he would have got hit with previous charges along with current charges. So, you know, it's just one of them things. Like, just a better car, better driver. Just call it a day. Move on. I can't hate. Shelby GT500, man, that's a beast of a car. I've seen these cars in person. They move. They're heavy, too. Don't get me wrong. They're just as heavy as, well, not just as heavy as Hellcats, but, I mean, they're heavy cars, too. But they move, man. That Predator engine's a monster. But, uh, as always, guys, like, subscribe, comment. Shout out to my boy, LRHN. That was a quick one there. I mean, the chase lasted a minute, so I couldn't give you too much more than that. But, as always, guys, like, subscribe, comment. It's been your boy, Knockout360. I'll see you in the next one. Hopefully, we'll have the Hellcat back this week. I don't know. But, trust me, when I bring it back, I'm talking big power. Big power. Peace.